ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look what I got my hot little hands on. The new 50TP, the toilet paper prototype. It's not Charmony Soft, it, it, it's two-ply generic brand hard. And I mean as in hard as this thing is a flippin' beast. Um, we're going to go over it real quick, and then we'll have some game plans, post-game stats for you. So anyways, let's start out where we normally do, with the gun. Most important thing on the tank is the gun and the armor, and I like to start with the gun. So, standard pen, 218, premium, 245. I like what Warren Gabing did in a way, like I said, in a way where they didn't go from 218 as your standard and 330 being your premium. Um, you know, the buff from standard to premium isn't a huge, huge uh, jump. So... It's kind of nice in a way because if you're in a tier 9 or 10, your armor still is going to mean something. Um, 245, you're going to have to aim for weak spots. And you'll see in the match that you're going to watch, um, when I was shooting the IS-3s with standard rounds kind of up too high on the pike nose, I was bouncing. When I finally loaded the premium round, I think I lowered my aim too, and I went then I went through them. But <laughs> in a tier uh, 9 and 10 match, you're going to have some trouble uh if you're not aiming for premium or i mean premium uh weak spots on the front of tanks because 245 is really not tier nines yeah you know you're still you're at that point that you still should be able to go through the front of most of them but you're gonna have trouble with some but you start hitting tier 10 matches 245 you're gonna be looking for weak spots or you're looking at like you're not going to be going through them but uh your he is 68 pen you have 440 average damage. I like, you know, the extra bang for your buck there. And 560 for your HE. So we'll go over my stats now. I basically took the crew that I got from buying the tank, bumped it up to 100% crew, and just did their crew skills. So I've had one match in it, and you will see that match. And you can see I don't have my mods on here. i got to reinstall those. Um, I set it up with a gun rammer, vents, and a gun lane drive. I was really toss them back and forth the gun lane drive or vertical stabilizers but i looked at the speed of this it's not super fast so your reticle's not really going to get big anyway so that's why i went with the uh, gun lane drive because your reticle's already pretty small and once you stop then it, the that'll kick in and then it continues to shrink in whereas your vertical stabilizers keep it smaller as you're moving the faster you're going you know the speed the, the, the bigger it's going to get. So you want the vertical stabilizers to keep it as small as it can while you're booking along. Then when you come to a stop, they disengage and then it starts shrinking in. Well, being that this isn't the fastest tank in the world, I was looking at it as if it, the, the bloom's not really going to get that big to begin with. So uh, as soon as you stop, it's going to shrink in even more. That's just my method behind my madness. Take it for what it's worth. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. I'm hoping it does. It seems to be. Um, and I went with vents to help everything across the board, the dispersion, the aim time, the reload, because it does have a substantial reload, and that's why I went with the uh, gun rammer. Um, yeah, so that's kind of why I did the layout I did. And I carry 21 standard, 12 APCR, and 2 HE. HE basically for reset and cap, or uh, shooting at something that you just can't really penetrate, you know, just to do a little bit of damage if need be. So... Uh, my rate of fire is 5.1 rounds a minute. The reload is 11.98. Um, stock, it was like 13-something. So, yeah, it's got a pretty substantial load time. So, when you uh, pull that trigger, you want to really make your shots count. So, um, you know, aim for weak spots if you can, you know, if you've got the time to really aim in. Turret Traverse is kind of slow at 29.87. And the Hull Traverse is really nice at 40.53. So... Stuff will have trouble trying to circle strafe you. Um, you should be able to keep up with it pretty good. Unless it's like a real fast like bat chat or a bat chat 12T that, you know, it's got some pretty good speed. But you should still be able to, as long as you're spitting your haul and your turret at the same time, keep up with anything trying to circle strafe you. Uh, gun depression is awesome at negative 10 and plus 20. Aim time, eh, 2.56. Could be a whole lot better. Um... But I think stock, it was like really close. It's like 288. So really close to three seconds. So get it down to 2.56. It's about as good as you're going to do with, uh, you know, a setup. Unless, well, you know, they don't have this, uh, they don't have uh, this tech tree out yet. So you can't even, you wouldn't have any crew for it. Well, oh, you know what? My, um, 
uh, poodle. Is it the poodle? That tier uh, five, six, whatever. I think I might take the crew out of that and throw it in here. I didn't even think about that. If it's the same setup and stuff, well, I'll have to look. Uh, dispersion 0.38, so not super accurate. And that's where I had a little bit of trouble, even close range at those IS-3s. I was still hitting high, and it was hitting on the pike nose and kind of bouncing. Average damage per minute is 2203, pretty good. 1500 hit points, pretty standard. Hull armor in the front is 170, uh, and 210 on the turret. Now, you get into tier 10 matches, 210, eh, tier 9s and 10s can still go through the front of you. They might have a little bit of trouble, but heat rounds, I imagine those will probably rip right through the front of this. So, um, and you know how when you get a tier 10 match, everybody's slinging gold rounds. Uh, on your side, you have 90 on the hull, so you can do some good side scraping, and 150 on the turret. I just noticed it's got kind of a dimple on both sides right here and right there I wonder if that's gonna be a issue with somebody like shooting right there and like right there or if that's gonna bounce I'm gonna have to take it into a testy room and see what happens uh, we did the sides and on the back you got 80 in the rear on the hull and a hundred on the turret so the turret all the way around is really nice uh, oh, hull's not bad either, really. Weight, 53.5 tons. So, yeah, you got some pretty good weight behind you for smacking into some uh, mediums, light tanks. Um, be careful. You know, you don't want to go slamming into an E100 or a Moss. That's not going to do you too very good. But uh, 750 horsepower engine. Specific power to weight is pretty good, 14.14. You know, it's not up in the 20s, but it's not down in the 10s either. So, um, it, it's all right. Top speed is 35 and forward and 14 in reverse. So it's not a speed demon, but it'll get you from point A to point B, hopefully uh, at a decent speed. Uh, let's see. Concealment, 8.95, but it's a heavy tank, so what do you expect? That's actually not bad for a heavy tank, to be honest with you. View range is 392. Mine's a little bit better with the improved ventilation, and I've got situational awareness on one of my crew members, the commander. And signal range is 536. Alrighty, so if you want to hold on for a minute, we'll have some gameplay for you and then some post-game stats. So I will be ready to park. Alrighty, so we find ourselves on Mountain Pass in the new 50TP Tier 8 Heavy Premium Tank. Um, this is my first match in it. Uh, after I did the match, um, I realized, as stupid as I was, that I had the poodle, and I took the crew out of that and put it in this, and now it's got brothers in arms, and six cents, because I bumped up, uh, one of the crew skills to 100%, um, so I got six cents on it now, it won't show up in this, obviously, in this replay, but, um, yeah, so I put a really good, well, I won't say a really, really good crew, but six cent or, uh, brothers in arms, six cents and then uh one crew skill on the rest of them uh so yeah uh i'm telling you guys this thing uh, i'm loving it uh first match we got lucky and it was uh we're top tier all tier eights and so we are able to kind of really push and push kind of hard now when I come around the corner here, you'll think I was drinking one too many beers because I start climbing up the hill, but I kind of wasn't paying attention to where I was driving. I kind of, you'd see me looking to the left every once in a while, and then uh, you'll notice right here in a minute I start going up the hill here. I'm like, whoa, for, forgot about that little lip. But I got lucky enough to not get, well, I don't know if I was spotted because I don't have six cents yet, but at least not get shot at. Now, with this tank, with the uh, front pike nose, what you want to do is you want to try and keep that pike nose hidden, basically. Well, you want to keep the lower plate of any tank hidden. But I decided my best chance of keeping my lower plate hidden is to come around here and use these hills to my advantage because you get negative 10 gun depression, which is really nice. So we pop up over here and we light up uh, Yag 88 here in a second, if I remember right. I think I miss. My first shot. I'm not. I can't remember to be honest with you. Like I said, when you when you get yo, know, no, we hit the IS3. Now this is a premium round. We did go through his front. Four 
428, really nice. And then somebody else hit him for 299. Yag 88 is kind of getting tore up. I hit the Yag 88 with a standard round. I knock his track off, but that's okay because he's getting held there and he was just getting the snot pounded out of him. Now, standard round is AP, premium is APCR, which I really like. And what's really cool is. We've got some guys over here putting some pressure on them. So I am able to go ahead and push and push hard. So we get up here, keep it at a... You don't want to angle this. I just want to take a peek and see where he hit me. I think he hit me in the turret or the upper... Oh, yep, right here. See, now what he should have done, because he could have, where he was setting, was go for the... Did he hit the lower plate, maybe? Hmm, well, he might have right there. I don't know. I can see I got, I don't have my mod on, mod pack on here with uh, the uh, color mods to show where you uh, have rounds hit. But I'm thinking it looks like one hit here and one skidded off there. Which one the IS-3 did, I don't know. Boy, if he, it seems like he would have, if it were the IS-3 hitting right there, it seemed like that would have been. So I'm thinking the IS-3 hit here and the 88 hit there. But anyway, so I won't keep pausing it. I just wanted to see where that one hit because um, I just remember that one bounced off the front somewhere. I was going to try doing a little bit of side scraping, but I'm trying to keep my butt to the... I want, didn't want to get my butt out to the side too much because then they can just pen you anyways. But we were able to pull out and pen the IS-3. And now we got nice back shots on all this stuff. And... Um, I was so excited, I had side shots, I forgot to change it back to standard rounds right off, but I change it back to standard in a minute. Now I've got that goofy, uh, the, they've got the camo he's got on there. Um, it must come with this tank or something, but... Um, so he shoots, and he knocks my track off. So, oh, it was a 252U Defender, I was wondering, I thought it was an IS-6 at first over here. But I don't want to get too far forward, but I want to get forward enough to where I can shoot the guy. And he took off. So we pop out here, put one in his engine deck for 445. I'm telling you, this gun, it hits pretty hard. 440 is the average damage. We got a 445, uh, 354. Uh, let's see, I think that's when we finished him off, though. A 509. So we're getting some pretty good, pretty good rolls. I mean... You know, you always have your goods and your bads, your highs and your lows. But um, that T-92, he was heading over that way at first. And I was like, oh, what is he doing? Go for the cap. You know, I was hoping he would go for artillery. Now, I got a splash, showed uh, splash damage on me. And I don't remember artillery even hitting near me. So I wonder if one of these, the T-34, the UD-03, something up here was using HE rounds. Because uh, it just says, regardless if you're hit by artillery or uh, HE round, if they only hit near you, it'll say splash damage if it you know, actually splashes you. Now, I'm switched over to standard rounds. I wasn't quick enough to get a shot at the UD-03. He's looking like he's trying to either haul butt or get turned around. More than likely, he's turning around. But I come around the corner and see an IS-3. See, yeah, that's what I think they're doing is they're actually hitting that upper plate. Yeah, that's what they're doing is they're shooting right across this upper plate. There's one there, one right there. Now, if they had been shooting me in the lower plate, they probably would have been penning me like cheese. I don't know. Looks like I might have been hit twice there. So, um, yeah, anyways, I see where I was making my... Well, it doesn't seem like... Well, I had him at an angle. It seemed like it would have went right through the side there. That's why I was shooting him in the upper part, uh, part of his pike. Because he's at an angle. Basically, it's like shooting through a flat panel. See how he's angled at me? And again, it, it bounces off him again. And right there, that should have easily been going through his side. And I was really surprised it wasn't. So I bounce another one. Now that one, I can see it bouncing because it hit the right right side of the uh, on his pike. But I went ahead and loaded a standard round. We finished him off, and then I loaded a premium round. But I 
I'm getting it set up to go back to a standard round. Because the T-34, you can go through him pretty easy. But what I'm going to do right here is keep my nose behind this right here so he can't shoot my lower plate. So basically, just pop in there, take a shot, knock his track off. And who do I have up here with me? Oh, the ISM. Huh, sweet. We just basically ripped this T-34 up because the T-34 has got a heck of a reload. Um, I mean, this does too, but obviously his reload's a little bit longer. So we're just going to push out here, drive on by him, and shoot him in the butt. Figure if the ISM wanted him, I would have let him, you know, if he'd have been reloaded, but we ended up uh, finishing him off there. And, oh, if I would have seen this guy had three, ki or three kills, I could have sent him a invite and we could have got our brothers in arms sometimes i miss those but um yeah holy shkanikers uh oh that's where that oh check it out so it looked like that round actually went through here and it came out the other side right here that's got to be what happened it, it's got to be what happened i'm telling you uh-huh yeah that's got to be what happened right there it looks like it went right through there and you can see if you, uh, yeah, if you look right here, it went right through there and right through there. So that's why it knocked my track off and didn't do any damage. It basically just went right through the, um, not the superstructure, but just basically the uh, track um, cover or the uh, track armor. So cool uh, beans. Uh, yeah, I'm liking this thing a lot. Looks pretty darn sweet. Uh, not the fastest in the world, but it's got great gun depression. Uh, I, got, I just got to aim at the IS-3s a little bit better. Um, you know, and I would have probably went through them with the standard rounds. I was surprised, though, because I was shooting him at an angle. He was like that, and it would be like me shooting this. I should have been able to go right through that angle. Uh, it makes it flat. You know, his pike isn't facing me straight on, and that's how a pike knows it's meant to bounce is by facing straight on. And he was like this, and I was still bouncing. That is too cool, though. That is exactly what happened. That round went through there, knocked my track off, came out the other side, and just ricocheted off. Pretty sweet! But yeah, I love this tank so far. It is um, pretty awesome. I'll be interested to see how it does in a Tier 10 match, which I imagine I will get plenty of those. But that was my first match in the 50 TP. Uh, my recommendations are, if you can get it, get it. Um, obviously, it's on, only on sale for another... I think 12 hours or 11 hours uh, for the pre-early release. So uh, if you don't get it now, I would definitely pick it up. Um, oh, another round went right through there. Um, I would definitely pick it up. No way, that can't be the same round. Do you think, guys? Could that possibly be the round went through here, through here, and out there maybe? Or do you, I know I got hit one time that actually penetrated me. Hmm. Very interesting. I wonder if that is the same round. Huh. But, uh, yeah, if you don't get it on the pre-release here in the next couple of, uh, like, 12, 11, 10 hours, whatever's left, I would uh, definitely pick it up uh, when it's released because it uh, definitely makes some good credits and it is definitely... Uh, well worth the money. It uh, it can take a lick and keep on ticking. That maybe that's what the TP stands for. Timex, something watch. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll post game stats for you. So hold on, I'll be right back. Well, what can I say? <laughs> I love this tank. First match, you guys saw the very first match I had in it, and. Uh, yeah, I like it, and I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. Yeah, I really like this. Sorry about the scruffiness. Um, I've been running like a madman, trying to get as many miles as I can. Uh, my son's laptop kind of took a shit on him. The uh, monitor, I think, is crapped out on it. He's uh, trying to fix it right now, so I'm kind of waiting for a message from him to see if he got it working. Something really weird to screen uh, set up in the past where a screen will turn like red and green. Um, and last time we did a complete reinstall the operating system, fixed it. I don't know why. Uh, like this time, 
we've gone through all the stupid steps, reinstalling the uh, video card drivers, uninstalling the video card, reinstalling the video card, uninstalling the stock, the, the one built into the uh, processor, reinstalling it, and nothing seems to fix it. But so far, he's doing a complete reinstall, and the colors have seemed to come back normal. So I don't know what the deal is. Never run across that problem. But uh, might have to pick him up a new gaming laptop if that doesn't work. So, anyways, what do I think of this? Holy jeez, I'm criminy Christmas. Get it. Um, I was a little... It could have been where I was aiming uh, on the IS-3A and the IS-3. Uh, I had a little trouble penetrating them. I did switch over to premium rounds when I was coming around that corner, and it was me and like one, one or two other tanks. I wanted to make sure all my rounds were penning. First couple rounds I shot at the, actually I think it was the second and third round I shot at the regular IS-3, bounced off his front. Switched to premium, went through him. Come around, uh, finished off uh, the uh, 50 TP on the enemy team. Um, I thought there was an is must have been, oh, it was uh, another IS-3 over there. I thought it was an IS-6. I guess I wasn't paying too good attention there. Uh, but anyways, so I finished him off, switched back to standard rounds, went after the IS-3A around the corner on over by the bridge. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm like, what in the hell? I mean, I was hitting him uh, kind of where the pike is, but I was aiming for the lower plate. At that range, and I don't have my mods on here, so I apologize. I didn't realize they had done a uh, little mini um, update, and so all my mods, I've got to reinstall them. But anyways, so yeah, first match, it was a Master Badge Class 1, a, a fighter, sharpshooter, uh, spotter, master gunner, fire for effect, made a buttload of credits, even though I shot a handful of premium rounds. I think I shot maybe six, five, six premium rounds. Um... The enemy 50 TP, we were able to get on his side and uh, the side of his turret and stuff. Hit him three times for 1,093. Got some good rolls on him, too. The, the gun hits pretty hard. Um, finished him off. Uh, knocked out his track. Bounced one of his rounds for 440. Uh, the standard IS-3 hit him three times for 1201. Finished him off. Bounced one of his rounds for 390. And damage upon his spotting was 299. We originally spotted him, too. IS-3A, we bounced a bunch on the front of him, but we finally penned him for 101, finished him off, uh, knocked out his track, and bounced one of his rounds for 390. Object 252U, Defender, that might have been what was over there, but I thought I had actually shot him and finished him, maybe somebody else finished him off, but damage upon a spotting, 103. T-34, damage upon a spotting was 107. The other T-34, we hit him three times for 961, finished him off, uh, knocked out his track, damage upon us, destroying his track was 370. Yag-88, bounced one of his rounds for 240, uh, damage upon us spotting him was 1065 and we originally spotted him. And the UD-03, we uh, just spotted him, he got hit for 418. So we got a bunch of good spotting assisted damage. Um, just all sorts of goodies. So, uh, we did the most damage at 3,801. Got four kills. A base experience of 1,381. Uh, we had 15 shots, 15 hit, 11 pen. So, mainly on that I, the IS-3s, I had some trouble going through. 218 should really go through the front. So, more than likely, it was kind of where I was aiming. Um, I should have been aiming for the uh, underbelly on the pike nose. And I think I was aiming a little bit too high and was hitting the... The actual uh, pikes, you know, bouncing. So that might have been why I wasn't penning those too well. Um, yeah, so total damage, 3801. Uh, we got hit five times, one penetrated, four bounced, and we got hit for some splash damage by artillery. Uh, they still got to fix the sound, because I, I don't even realize I got hit by artillery. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember uh, artillery even splashing near me. So they, they still need to fix the damn sounds on this because there's times I'll get hit, especially in the tier 10s when you get hit by a, like a Yagzella or a T-1104. You won't even know you got hit. You'll look down, half your damn health is missing, and you won't hear a thump, bang, nothing. So, yeah, they really need to fix the sounds. Uh, damage blocked by our armor was 1460, so if you can hide that lower pr plate, holy smokes, what a beast. Um, we spotted two, damage five, destroyed four, damage with our assistance was 2,362. 
We made 135,375 credits. I did shoot some premium ammo, but we still walked away with 77,425 credits. Holy crap. Not only is a tank a beast, it's a flipping cash register, too. Um, yeah, I am really liking this thing. If you can hide that front lower plate, uh, and that's what I did mainly on both sides. I kept tucking back, so I was hiding that. They really have no chance of going through uh, the turret or even you know anywhere on this uh, pike nose front. The driver's uh, hatch isn't weak, so yeah. Um, I got lucky in the enemy one. I hit him in the back of the turret. I was trying to ammo rack him because normally the ammo is in the back of the turret. Um, and I hit there and it didn't do anything, which I was I was kind of surprised. So uh, maybe the ammo is kind of down here somewhere. Um, if you usually hit him in the very back of the turret, it's a good chance of um, ammo racking him or back of the engine setting him on fire. But yeah, what a beast. I love it. Um, I, I, I was... Really surprised that 218, like I said, wasn't going through uh, the IS-3's front. Um, but I loaded premium, and then we just went through them anyways. And it doesn't bump you up to like 300. You go from 218 to 245. So when you're starting to see tier 10s with this, which I got lucky and I was top tier, but starting to see tier 10s, 245 is really even. That's pushing it to have trouble going through a lot of stuff. Um, even some tier 9s, that's going to have trouble going through. So... Yeah, we will see. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the battle. If you did, please click the like button down below and s subscribe to the channel. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.